Y ahora, damas y caballeros, Juan Manuel Dinamita Marquez. And therein, Larry, perhaps lies Katsidis' biggest hope that Marquez is indeed not what he once was. He's made a remarkable transition from his early days when he was really a safety first and safety second fighter. It would be hard to imagine him becoming the tough boxer puncher that he has become. And if the number one marriage of fighter and trainer in the sport at this moment, Emmanuel, is Manny Pacquiao and Freddie Roach, then a close number two would be Marquez and Nacho Berenstein. Nacho Berenstein is not only is, you know, famous for Marquez, but also, in my mind, one of the greatest trainers of all time. When you look at Ricardo Lopez and all of the fighters that he's trained, and all of his fighters are fundamentally very sound, very good balance. A lot the opposite of what this, this regular Mexican image is of fighters. Very, very good trainer. Great trainer, maybe not so great as a manager. He once advised Marquez to go to Indonesia and fight Chris John rather than to take three quarters of a million dollars to fight Manny Pacquiao a third time. That was not a wise choice. But Marquez has survived all that. He's the champ. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions.